you're in a black hole, a computer. So when you see that division symbol that you make while you're doing your math, that's the chessboard that you're on. At the very center, there's a fixed black hole. This is what is the spiral of creation. Look at your fingertips. Look at the Fibonacci sequence. It's all over you. It's that the plants come out spiraling. You see ants in my videos running around in circles like those people in Mecca. What I'm saying is that the whole basis of reality is that you're in a black hole. The dome above your head is, this is like an hourglass. You have a dome above your head. This is behemoth. And beneath you, there's the other hourglass. It's Leviathan. And these two things can't mate. Otherwise, this whole Xbox would fall apart. So the sun is like a disc, 32 nautical miles in diameter, spiraling in, spiraling out. It has to be eaten by the black hole sun. That's what your candy cane is showing you, your spiral lights around your Christmas tree. If it's not eaten up, then there's no feedback loop, ash trailing jet, infinite potential, Earth's memory, uh, the great dragon typhon, the mother of all creation, end of humanity, which sets everything into motion. This is the, you know, what it would be exactly like is that a person above the dome dies. They had their consciousness uploaded into the Xbox so they could live forever. And uh, there's no body to go back to. Something went awry. The moon is like a rib of the earth. It's been broken off from the grid. It's sending down a square wave. You can see the lunar wave. They say this Pac-Man moon eats your souls and recycles you back to this place. And that you need to get to the very center where the Holy Grail is before you're dead. The exclamation point, the letter I. Everything about reality is based on this basic principle. So there's really no excuse. There's, there's no way for you not to see it. It's like an, you know, it's like an hourglass with a checkerboard that separates the two bowls. It's the by bowl, the two bowls, the paradox, the paradox. You're on the wrong side of the fence. Your first estate is the Garden of Eden. It's right over there. And uh, I'm going to lead an exodus to this place. We're going to go down the Maypole, May 1st, 2019. There's no way to mess this up. How people don't see it, I don't get it. But uh, the sun is spiraling in, spiraling out, bringing the seasons. And uh, you're literally in that snow globe, so you're on the wrong side of the fence. This moon is keeping your brain shut off, so you can't see what's hiding in plain sight. You're like on a broken record. You get recycled, rebirth with your memories erased. You don't remember anything. Well, I figured everything out. We're getting out of here alive. Nobody can stop me. Anybody who's birthed into this world after is going to make it to this place where you're no longer made out of clay. You become an exclamation character and uh, you're an eternal being and nobody can kill you and you can pass from the Garden of Eden into this place. You have your first estate, your second estate. Old slave song, follow the drinking gourd. The Chinese compass points south. The north side of your compass is seeking a south pole. The north pole is Polaris. All the stars spin around it. That's your all seeing eye up there. No way to fuck it up. So, you know, Hitler holding his arm up, pointing to the Holy Grail. This is where you're going to be like Popeye. You're going to gaze upon the astral light and drink upon the waters and become superhuman. It's been in our face the whole time. And uh, it's just that simple. You know, you're in the Xbox. There's no place for you to go back to. Unless you're one of the 144,000, you were sent here. You know, you're in like total recall. You're here to change this place that we are, and then we're going to wake up and watch what's going on on uh, computer screens. It is what it is, people.